At the Game Awards, Nintendo finally gave us another look into the world of Breath of the Wild with two separate videos, one focusing on cutscenes and cinematics, while the other was strictly gameplay. Though both videos together are far shorter than what was given to us at E3, a lot of interesting information and secrets can be pulled from the few short minutes we were given. I'm Sasizi, and I'll be joining Game Over Jesse on his series of videos analyzing as much as we can for Breath of the Wild. But to start us off, here are five theories, secrets, and facts hinted in the newest Breath of the Wild footage. Number 1. Traveling NPCs One of the things that made Majora's Mask feel so alive is that everyone had a place to be, everyone seemed like they had something to do, and more importantly, everyone had a story to tell. We see a glimpse of this brought back in Skyward Sword, with the characters living in Skyloft, but it wasn't nearly as prominent as a lot of characters still remain stationary or wandered around in the same area. Fans of this can rejoice as it seems they are bringing it back once again in Breath of the Wild, and I'll show you why. See this man walking across the bridge? Well, if we take a closer look, you will notice not only the obvious walking stick, but the bag on his back. You may think he is patrolling the bridge, but if this was the case, you would think he would be better equipped for fighting with a sword or shield. Instead, he is dressed for traveling, and we don't see any enemies around other than this already destroyed guardian. With this area looking fairly safe, perhaps he is walking along a safe pass from one town or village to another. The bag he is carrying could even be filled with goods for trading, but who could know? Next, we have this small area. This time, however, we don't have just one NPC walking around. Now, a few of them do seem to remain stationary. Perhaps one is the shopkeeper or the owner of a horse stable or whatever it may be. And this could be why they aren't moving. But if we look off into the distance, we can see this man walking toward the shop. When it cuts to the next scene, we can see him riding a horse. Perhaps this is yet another NPC that we will come across that is freely roaming around. In another shot of a small village, we can even see someone tending to the crops. Whether these NPCs will offer quests or small hints about the area, seeing them walking around and interacting with the environment brings a feeling of life to the game that fans have been missing. Number 2. Hidden Towns and Villages Did you notice something about the areas we were shown with NPCs? Well, the hut with a horse head on top and this village on a hill close to the waterfalls. They both seem to be hidden very well, which means it will be very easy to simply pass over a village and not even notice it. I mean, if we take a look at these scenes from the official trailer, we have very large zoomed out scenes with no sign of life in sight. It doesn't seem like we have a clear path leading to these inhabited areas either. In Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, we had an obvious path on the ground leading straight to each area. This means when playing Breath of the Wild, you will have to become very familiar with your surroundings to remember the correct route from and to a village so you don't get lost. But who knows, getting lost could lead you to another populated area. Number 3. Flashbacks and Time Travel Most 3D Zelda titles have some form of time travel in the game. Ocarina of Time had you jumping back and forth seven years at a time, which let you play as a child or an adult. Majora's Mask let you slow down time, speed up time, or even rewind time up to three days. Wind Waker has you enter Hyrule Castle as it is frozen in time to find the Master Sword. Twilight Princess has you travel back to the past as you enter the Temple of Time. And Skyward Sword plays around with time travel almost as much as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. You are not only introduced to the time shift stones in order to solve puzzles, but at the end of the game, you step through the gate of time in order to stop demise. So, since every 3D home console Zelda game has made use of the time travel, it would make sense for Breath of the Wild to continue this. After all, in the new Life and Ruins trailer, we see Link with the Master Sword clearly on his back. But if the first E3 trailer taught us anything, it is that the Master Sword is in really bad shape, but the one Link has looks perfect. Adding to this scene taking place in the past, rather than after he restores the Master Sword, is the fact that the Sheikah Slate is missing from his hip. Now, these scenes could simply be flashbacks, but I'm not willing to give up hope just yet. After all, if some of these flashback scenes end up being playable, then we would have our answer to how the game will be using time travel. 
After all, Nintendo did say a big part of the game will be figuring out why the world is in the shape it is, and discovering Link's past, and who he is. Playable flashbacks would be the best way to do this. Number 4. Smart AI This is something that I am incredibly excited for. For a quick example, remember back to Ocarina of Time and Dodongo's Cavern. When fighting a Lizalfos, only one of them would attack at the same time. One would jump forward and attack, jump back, then the next would jump forward. This continued until Skyward Sword. The enemy AI had little advancements, but battles basically remained the same unless it was an automated enemy like Beemos that would just spin and shoot. However, here in this new gameplay, we see this enemy staying clear of the bomb that was thrown at it. Yes, this is just a small example of a more intelligent AI, and in past gameplay we can see groups of Bakoblins acting differently depending on how you approach them. But what makes me excited is that this advanced AI doesn't just affect enemies, but possible partners as well. We knew we could use Wolf Link as an ally, but what we didn't know is that there's the possibility for other NPCs to fight with us. We can even see that in this scene here. In the past, Zelda games have at one point or another made you pair up with an NPC to make it through a dungeon or puzzle, however they would either need to be carried or controlled separately. With this advanced AI, I have hope that this won't be the case in Breath of the Wild, and if this type of situation comes up, the NPC's AI will know what to do, whether that is helping you fight off enemies or helping light torches to solve a puzzle. Number 5. The Goddess Statues Probably the most mysterious part of the trailer, Nintendo stopped just short of the glowing goddess statue, on purpose I presume, to get us even more desperate for answers. Out of all the gameplay scenarios they could have shown off, they purposely chose to show off this gameplay, and stopping before making it to the goddess statue was their intention. These statues are important to the story and the game. Now we know the statue is located close to a shrine, but what if it wasn't just a shrine? After all, our new friend Cass even gave us a riddle on where it was, and none of the other shrines we've seen have a goddess statue close to it. Perhaps this shrine is in fact a full dungeon, and these glowing goddess statues are located close to the entrance of these dungeons. We've seen one before, inside the Temple of Time, which in previous Zelda games has also happened to be a dungeon. Perhaps these goddess statues are what trigger the flashbacks, and coming into contact with them is what makes Link glow as we saw in this scene. These are just our thoughts on what they could mean, but the attention Nintendo has given to them from the new gameplay segment is worth mentioning. What's up everybody, Game Over Jesse here, and thank you for watching this video. If you want an even more in-depth analysis, check out Zelda Informer's other video here on the left, and if you'd like to see more videos similar to this from myself, check out my channel by clicking the video on the right.